sorry for the sunlight, but I did promise uh, that I might shoot something with this uh, mats that I've got on the trailer. So bada boom, I have finally moved all the junk. I'm not even gonna video much that way because it's full of junk. I had everything that's sitting around from working on the truck and a whole bunch of things. I had to really end up just piling stuff in the shop and I needed to get 12 foot width here because um, I'm gonna be cutting three of these wide and probably three of them deep. Uh, so all I'm doing right here off the bat is I just did the first back scrape. Just gonna take some material from up here, move it back and then scrape forward really lightly. Just trying to smooth it a little bit, nothing fancy, uh, but just to get it smooth. Uh, so let me go back and forth a few times and then we'll probably use the bucket, I think, to carry those things over because they're kind of heavy. This is out here in case, uh, I don't know, bear, something, it's always out here. Well, uh, it's some hand raking done, and it's close enough, and I think I'm going to use the uh, blade on the bucket and just back drag it, smooth it the rest of the way. I've got the drip off over there and a little bit of taper off to the right, so we should be good there. Uh, I hate to say this, but it is Sunday, and normally I'm not going to do some kind of work like this on Sunday. What, because someone said not to? No. This is just the day... Uh, Actually, the Lord even told us to rest, <laughs> you know. Um, usually just this is a day to worship Him, spend time with the family, spread the word. You know, there's so much that should go on this day. The only reason this ended up into today, but my son needed the, uh, the backup vehicle we have, which is the Dodge Durango 5.7 Hemi 2004. And I believe it's uh, 347,000 miles. And a lot of maintenance on this thing but it still runs great uh it was behind the the f-350 with the trailer on it with the other explorer with my fire department vehicle then this was all the way at the back nose in farthest part of the property and it wouldn't start <laughs> so i actually had to start moving everything the tractor the trailer everything just doing like an app shovel uh, shuffle game kind of a thing uh, to be able to get to where I could get the F-350 behind this with my long cables and jump it off. Ended up it had some corrosion around the terminals. Battery's good, so that's the only reason I'm doing this gravel work over there right now. But I'm thankful for that. Um, but again, it is a Sunday. And uh, if one of your family looked at you and said, my car's broken down, um, I'm broken down, I need something really critical, you know, something, would you look at him and say, well, no, uh, it's the Lord's day i can't i can't work well we're still supposed to be serving on any day um so i didn't intentionally get into this today but now i've moved all the stuff out of the way and i'm kind of all jammed up until i move it back so <laughs> let me carry on with the back bleeding with the bucket well the back scraping with the uh, tractor worked really well you know anytime you grab a rock like that it's going to leave a little run but it's flat um 
all is well. If I had a compactor, it'd be a great time to just bust it down, but I'm not worried about it, these things going on it. But I just went to go load some in the bucket. And you know what, they're just too heavy. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna continue this on another day. I actually was off work sick last week a couple days, some kind of a small cold, rhino bus, I don't know what it was. But I don't have a lot in me, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop and uh, just wait till I get a little bit of help to move these things in place. you notice I went from uh, bare hands to at least putting these gloves on I'd have to walk down to my truck to get my better work gloves but if you're gonna handle this stuff I would recommend putting a better pair of gloves on even than these uh, because it's not just rubber if you start looking close you see that shine right there 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 that is all steel that's running through this and it's on the end as well it's kind of hard to see on this one a little bit dirtier there that's steel you can feel that. So if you go grabbing these with your bare hands, um, you may get some nasty cut on it or something. But uh, but that will make it last longer. It's actually kind of good to see that. But I did not know that that was embedded with it. But it makes sense. Uh, I'll be getting these last three on right now. place they are lined up well and uh, just a note these things are not cut evenly for instance I am just off just a little bit this is between these two which this one right here is a little bit longer but you want to get to the end of this one it's way longer than this other piece so I don't think you should expect to <laughs> fit it like a puzzle uh, exactly because they're, they're just not exactly Widthwise, like for example, another one you can see this edge here to these two is straight, and you get to here, and it's shorter. So, eh, I don't care, it's going to solve my problem. But this is a great angle where you can see shadow and some places there. And what that is, is there's other pieces of gravel that we're going to roll. I mean, these things are heavy, so when I pull them, it's going to catch a piece of gravel roll it um so you're gonna have a little bump under there somewhere and a divot somewhere else i thought well i'll just start peeling each one back and pull that piece of gravel out and put a little bit in whatever hole there was i think i'm just gonna wait um maybe drive the tractor over it several times and let this stuff compress down in the way that it wants uh, and then come back and do that or i'm just gonna be i think just chasing <laughs> things with it but i don't want these kind of ridges sticking up these could be a a trip hazard especially on the days when you're really tired and you're just fatigued and you just don't pick up your feet the same so we'll smooth this out so another angle of this again you can just see this is just a, all the stuff you've seen me in videos is just an old carport in front of my shop which all this stuff is piled in front right now because everything I moved into there uh, so I'm gonna go into cleaning this area up today uh, it's supposed to rain really hard today and I had called off some work that I was planning because it was supposed to rain heavy and now it's not so I'm just going to get some things done here but uh, here's the difference I'm going to show you the grooves that are in this running this way I wasn't expecting that because the other piece that I'll crop over the video right now 
of a piece that my dad gave me um, for the end of the deck. Kind of like just a place to uh, not wipe your feet, but before you transition onto the ramp, actually has diagonals on it. So what I was planning to do was rotate that to where we might have this one diagonals pointing that way, first two, and then this one's diagonal going that way for rinsing and cleaning this thing off. It would just shed off the water better to the side, but all of this is going that direction. So no problem. I think what I'll do is I'll pull them back a little bit farther than expected, but I'll go in this transition zone before the shop. This is just gravel fill. Um, I'll end up putting a trench in there uh, with a drain grate on top of it and probably going off to the side over here, removable top so that I can clean and whatever goes there can go in there. Now the other thing is this carport goes right up to the shop that I built, but there is that little gap. So I'm gonna get, I don't know whether I'm gonna do coil or something there and seam up that gap. It's been like that for a few years, but I'm gonna go ahead and seal that up. But when I do the trench here, one of the other things is from my house, I'd already ran some uh, having water line out here that's been in, in the ground ever since I built the shop. Um, ran the trench out so what I need to do is I actually need to run that water underground deep enough below the frost line out to this corner and uh, that's where one of the uh, hose spigots is going to be so I can clean off the equipment but I'm just going to go ahead and call this a little success this was 500 and some dollars I think at uh, tractor supply uh, I missed it on sale at 49.99 I think and it ended up being 59 a piece uh, but that's okay when I was budgeting uh, not just time prep but you know, time prep and forms and rebar and then the concrete and getting the truck up here up my hill to this spot and doing that and then finishing it. Ah, my gosh, I just, I don't have time nor it's really the priority in the budget, but this was important for me to be able to do something here better when I'm working on vehicles. So I'm, I'm happy with this. It was worth a, a, a little bit of a stage. Last thing I'll mention, or maybe the second to the last thing that I'll mention is I knew one of the concerns I would have was when I start using jack stands, jacks, other things out here on this rubber, um, if they penetrate more on one side than the other, you could get off shift. It could just, well, could penetrate it and rip it. Uh, so what I'm going to do for the jack stands, I'm not going to weld something onto the jack stands, but I'll, I'll cut some plates that will help distribute out the force of the jack stand from each leg to an entire plate and spread the, uh, spread the pounds per square inch out over a whole plate. But then I'll cut some uh, narrow pieces of angle iron and weld those on each corner, just so that there's a pocket in here to sit and it can't slide one direction or the other. And those will just be, you know, you just sit them on it and they're not gonna weld to it. Uh, I'll probably have a couple of plates like that for the, uh, the jack so that the wheels don't penetrate much in the rubber. Probably think of a few other things, but to get oil on this, I'm going to have to clean it. I've got some other product. You'll probably see some videos on soon from a friend that's got an amazing product that actually eats hydrocarbons. Pretty cool stuff. Um, let me get some of that for up here uh, for making sure when I, I need to clean up a spill. I mean, I can contain everything, but I'll just have to watch for slickness on this as well. But anyway, I hope that this may be an option for you and uh, save you some money, but also... Just take care of something. Here's the other good point. I think I'm making a lot of good points for it. Am I trying to convince myself? Sure. <laughs> but uh, let's say I do move and I want to move this garage or keep it. I could take these with me. I mean, it's not like concrete staying there. So this could be, uh, these could actually be cut in half. And look how many I would have for some treads uh, lighter than a full sheet to use for my excavator getting through a yard, laying them down as, as work mats to get to a job site and just some other ideas even past that. But I always say have a blessed day, but I mean that. Um, find your church to go somewhere tomorrow uh, where you can get a good message or uh, send me a message. Um, but take care of yourself. We'll see you soon.